In the previous training video, we learned how to split our database, and as you recall, the front end was the integration, the back end, by default, gave it the BE suffix to the integration here. What I want to be able to do is I want to be able to distribute my database by putting the back end on the server and then distribute the front end to all the workstations. And then after I distribute them, I need to be able to have them link back up. Because right now the link is within the exercise folder. It knows where it's at. In other words, the front end links to the back end in the exercise folder. But if I go ahead and let's say, let me click and drag the back end out of here, and I double click and open up my network, and I'm going to find a folder here like the share folder. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and click and drag that. Of course, it's going to make a copy of it. Let me go ahead and right click and delete this now that I have a copy on my network. And then I'll go ahead and close out of that. Now, what's going to happen is, is that when I open up the integration database, it's going to go, where's my back end buddy? I mean, where are the tables? Where's the data? So I'll double click on it, and I'll go ahead and I'll double click on a table, and I'll say I can't find the file because remember it was in the exercise folder here. There's the address to the exercise folder. Click OK, and the way that you go ahead and link these back up once you distribute them, you know, your front end on all the workstations, your back end on the server, is that you come to a workstation, you open up the front end database here, okay? Then you come up, you click on the database tools, come over to the database tools group, and click on the link table manager because again, it's all about the tables. They're no longer in the exercise folder, so what we'll do is we'll click on select all the tables, and then we'll come down here and check always prompt for a new location and click OK. So it's going to prompt us and say, well, where is the back end? Well, we're going to go to the desktop because on the desktop we have our network. Double click on that. It's in the LSG, it's in the share folder, and there it is. That's where it's hiding. Double click on that. Give it a second or two. It says, hey, we successfully linked up. Click OK, close out, you're done. So all we did is we just said, look, we pointed the address from the desktop here to the network folder. So when I double click on one of these tables here, it doesn't have an, a fit because it knows now where the back end is. That's where it's linked to, the tables in the back end database. And then from here, let me go ahead and close out, you would take the front end database, make a copy of that, and put it on everybody's workstation and just do the same thing. Double click, open it up, go to the link table manager, Make sure that you change the address from where it currently was to the new address, which is on your network. Once that's finished, you shouldn't have to mess with it again, unless, of course, you move it out of the network folder into another network folder, and then, in which case, you have to go to all, I don't know, 200 workstations and make those changes or updates or send out a mass email and saying, hey, look, everybody, this is the steps to how you can go ahead and relink your front end database to the back end database that contains the data in the tables there. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.